Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Today we continue our study of the passage Matthew 6, 25 and following. Matthew 6, 25 and following challenges us in a number of ways. It challenges us to deal with life's challenges. It, it speaks to us how we should pay attention to our perspective and our pursuits. And we've talked about that, you know. We've indicated that our perspective on life and material possessions is very important because our perspective will influence our pursuit. We talked about our pursuits, those things which we, we follow, those things which we aim after, those things which we seek after. But the, the passage challenges us also to be conscious of our passion. Our passion, our perspective, our pursuit, our passion. You see, what are those things that we're passionate about? Really, the things that we are passionate about, they tend to, to consume us. They tend to occupy lot, a lot of our thought process. It, they uh, occupy a lot of our time. They consume us. They dominate our thoughts and, and they impact our pursuits. We have to recognize that all of these things are connected. Our perspective, our pursuits, our passion. They're all connected. Those who do not know Jesus and those who are carnal believers, those believers who, who choose to live a carnal life are often controlled by their passions. And my brothers and sisters, when we are controlled and dominated and motivated and influenced by those things which we are passionate about that are not consistent with the word of God we are in big trouble people who are sinful or, or carnal are passionate about mammon about material resources and, and they seek after it more than they seek for the things of God and before they seek for the things of God. Those who seek after mammon, they will do anything at all to get it. Even things that are considered immoral or cruel will be done. The followers of Jesus Christ, however, are to be consumed by the things of God and the word of God. We must be controlled not by material resources, not by mammon, but we must control material resources. We must not be controlled by money. We must control money. Today, my brothers and sisters, as we listen to Jesus speak in Matthew chapter 6, 25 and following, let us hear his voice speaking to us about passion and how we ought to pay attention to the things that we are passionate about and to make sure that the things that we are passionate about are the things we are supposed to be passionate about. Those are the things that should be consuming our energies. The things that should be consuming our time, our thought, our talent, our treasure. We as believers must pay attention to the things that are dominating our thoughts. That we spend our waking moments thinking about and our sleeping moments dreaming about. 
the things that drive us when we get out of bed in the morning, the things that drive us as we go through our daily activities. What are those things that, that drive you today? Think about it. What's driving you? What's the driving force in your life today? Is it material resources? Is it mammon? Is it money? Are you passionate and driven by the basic necessities of life? Driven so much that you would do anything to get it, even if it contravenes the word of God? We have to think about it and be careful. Should you need further information on these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-309-7302. Should you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text this number as well. We invite you to join us in January, January 9 and following for our 21 days of fasting and prayer. An amazing time of communion before the Lord. You don't want to miss it. Tell your family and friends and those in your social network about it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.